Hello guys, so it's been a little while since I've um, made a video on this channel. Um, I don't know why, I just haven't, haven't been motivated to do it. But now I'm going to make one about stuff. Um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Or maybe I do, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. So like, I'm starting now. So we all like go through good and bad times in our life and sometimes we reach the extremes of those emotions and those times and situations where we can be get extremely happy like ecstatic or we can get extremely low like like extremely bad depression and quite often at least all of us will go through those stages of our life at some point in life if not more than one <coughs> if not more than once and like it's okay <laughs> like if you're having a really really bad time just know that things will get better and obviously you've got to put in a little bit of work to do that but just talk out the problem just feel it don't resist it and push it away just sort of embrace it and let it happen because by pushing things away, then it goes down into your subconscious, and that's gonna again attack you in that life, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel too good. So the reason I'm talking about this is because I don't know. I had a pretty shit week last week, and I don't, I just wasn't happy. I just had no motivation. I just didn't want to do anything. That I don't know. I guess I was a little bit depressed, and then. I don't know, I just sort of had like a mental breakdown, if you want to put it that way. I actually had two in like the same day. It was on Friday. And yeah, it was extremely sad. <laughs> it was like an extremely empty feeling. Like, a, like when everything is just insignificant and you don't see the point in life and you can't see yourself going anywhere. And it, it like, when you get stuck in that thought pattern, it's so deteriorate into your personality. It's like everything that's good about you is just, like, dissolving away into this pessimistic view on yourself and life. <clears throat> But when you're in them times, it's, it's it's you've got to like see it as a good thing because if you don't go through things like that, then you're not going to ever change anything in your life. So if you're in a bad mood, but it's not super bad, it's just like a bad baseline bad mood where you're just constantly getting through life and you're not living it. That's not gonna. <clears throat> raise anything within yourself to make you actually want to change and want to become a better person well maybe not a better person because all persons all people all persons all people are good good people do bad things no what i'm trying to say is is make your life better like so that you're going to be more happy and balanced so you have to sort of go through that as like, and it acts as an incentive, like, okay, I need to change something. And the thing I was doing was, which led to that, is I was just sitting around doing nothing. And I guess this was a mix of like teenage hormones and stuff making me lazy and also pretty much my choice in behaviour where I just didn't want to do it. And then I got into this negative pattern and it's slowly building up and I absolutely hate that outlook I hate the pessimistic outlook that when I when I adopt it in my life I, I despise it so yeah uh, I guess uh, it manifested in a pretty extreme mental breakdown I guess and it lasted a few hours as well I don't know the first one was more like an anger outburst and the second one was a little bit later on was more like a depression sort of thing so yeah but anyway like day after that 
I sort of like had a realisation. Like I woke up in the morning and I was like, you can either do something today to change your life, or you can either sit watching the same old YouTube videos, listening to the same old music, playing the same old games, and living life the same way you have been for the past month or so. And I made the decision to change. <laughs> Slowly, I didn't, I didn't actually get right into it. I did a bit of both. I watched some pointless YouTube videos, which maybe were pointless. I don't know. It was um, entertaining. Entertaining YouTube videos. But nothing that's going to really help me grow spiritually. And then, so later on in the day, I started watching Alan Watts and a lot of more inspiring YouTubers. And also Infinite Waters. Because Infinite Waters was one of the guys who, he actually inspired me to get out of the slump I was in in the first place. And I guess, because I, I don't know, I remember I used to sit in my room just smoking weed and me and my friends were just... um. We just watch him, <laughs> and then I'd sit and watch him like every day, every video he uploaded, and I'd, I'd go back through all of his channel and watch all of his videos, and he's taught me so much. And I, I don't know, I just sat and watched about five of his videos, and I, I just it sort of brought brought me back to something because he's a he's a psychologist, and pretty much he does talk about some bullshit. <laughs> Then again, I can't really say it's bullshit. Some, uh, what I'm going to say is some stuff I don't particularly believe in. Like, I don't know. Like, reincarna re re reincarnation and stuff like that, which I'm not 200% sure about. I mean, it may be true. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I've been watching him and... And today, all I've done all day is research, sociology, and a shit ton of art. Like, a lot. Like, I haven't done this much art in ages. Like, I don't know, I've been like a creative slump, a spiritual slump, an emotional slump, all kinds of slumps I've been in. And now it's like, I've just let it all... I've expressed it all in the right way, rather than just suppressing it and just like sitting and doing nothing and feeling sorry for myself. I've actually done something about it to to have like a more positive impact on my life, and hopefully regain a positive outlook, which I which which I feel like I'm doing. I mean, today I've got a pretty positive outlook. Life's transient, our emotions are transient, our thoughts are transient. It's going to change. I'm probably going to have more rainy days ahead and also more really sunny days. But that's okay. It's okay. I say I had a really shit week last week. But actually, I remember one moment which stood out to me. It was an, a very neglectic experience. I was um, I was walking home from college. Or I'd just got off the bus and I was walking home from college. And I take a scenic route home. So it's like it's not the quickest way home, but it's like it's like the nice way home. And as I was walking up the hill, like all the sky was pink, and it was so like beautiful. Like I can't describe it with words, but it was like such an amazing feeling. And when I got to the top of these steps, I was looking out and there was like a layer of clouds on the top of the sky and the horizon there underneath. So clouds, horizon, and then in the in-between part, the sky was like blue and it faded into orange. And I was just like, like, like it completely took my breath away and it just made me feel so good inside. It was like one of them... Moments which makes you realise how connected you are to everything and it was just so beautiful and I can't even. Like we all have these experiences and I've had them a few in my life but this was my most recent one and it was absolutely amazing. 
and no drugs needed to feel it. It was a completely sober feeling. And it was good. I always lose things in my bedroom. I think I actually accidentally paused it then. Um, anyway, I think that's all I want to say in this video. I've gone for ten and a half minutes. So I might make another one in a minute actually because I've got a lot of making up to do for the for the missed days, the missed uploads. <laughs> my one dimple. No, no, I don't know why I've only got one. It's weird. Anyway, I think that's it. That is it. I don't think this is it. Okay, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, join the journey, and yeah, peace out.